Hey everybody, Pastor Mir Khan, and again, frustrated with what's going on in the city of Camden. You know, right now, um, most of us receive the ballots in the mail. We receive these ballots because the election, the primary election is coming up on June 8th, uh, just a few weeks from now. But this is what I call voter suppression on steroids. You know, a lot of times we hear talking about voter suppression over there in Alabama, in, in Georgia, what we recently came out of with Donald Trump. That's child's play compared to what's happening here in Camden. This is true voter suppression. Voter suppression where I can suppress this vote. In this case, the black and brown vote is being suppressed in the city of Camden. And we'll show you in a few minutes of what it looks like on the ballot and why we look at New Jersey. New Jersey is known as the Soprano State, <laughs> the state of corruption or the Soprano State, the corrupted corruption state. I wonder why Camden, New Jersey is the poorest city in the state of New Jersey, but yet New Jersey is the richest state in the entire country. That's by design. It's intentional. It's strategic. People profit from our dysfunction and using the uh, ballot suppression. This is exactly what they'll do. Matter of fact, do you know the original reason for the KKK? 1865, give you a little history lesson there. 1865, not by coincidence, the year that the Civil War ended was the beginning in Pulaski, Tennessee of when the KKK began. Do you know why the KKK began? Voter suppression. That's the main reason why KKK began 1865 and is still alive and well and on steroids today in 2021 in Camden and really all across the country. But I wanna focus in on the voting here in the city of Camden, the poorest city in the richest state. And we know why. Do you know right now, when you look at a, uh, a recent review that came out from Rutgers University, it was Rutgers University Review. It's actually called the county line. The county line is dealing with ballot positioning. And, and what they wrote about last year, Rutgers University, is exactly what we're seeing now. As a matter of fact, they're saying that ballot positioning is actually worth, when you get column one, 35%, 35 points before the first ballot is ever put in the mail, before you ever walk in the voting booth, they have a 35% head start, okay? When they see a team like Elton Custis for mayor, when they see a team for council ca candidates, Carmen Lozada and, 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 and Carla Benson and Hector Roas, when you see a powerful grassroots in the community team like that, that they know the community is going to after, they're saying to themselves, we have to do something to come against it. So watch this. If I can screw up the ballot positioning, if I can put them all the way over in Siberia somewhere so people don't see them, if I can break up the bracket, then I can keep that 35% lead. I saw on uh, Facebook or YouTube, one of the uh, uh, social media platforms the other day, a race of Kevin Hart, the comedian, you know, little Kevin Hart, racing Hussein Bolt, the fastest man in the world. In the history of racing, that's who Hussein Bolt is. You know him from Jamaica. But here's the thing. What they did was they gave um, Hussein Bolt was starting at the start line, but they gave Brother Hart, Kevin Hart, a 35-yard head start where he was able to start out 35 yards ahead and Usain Bolt had to try catching up to him to win. And, you know, you'll see the video, but you'll see as hard as Usain Bolt tried, the fastest man in the history of the world running, he couldn't catch Kevin Hart because of that 35-yard head start. It's exactly what's happening with voter suppression like we see right here in the city of Camden. They're giving 35 points. I'm gonna pull this ballot out. I'm gonna show you something here. On the ballot, this is what you see. Here you see column one, and you'll see where they place everybody there, column one, all the people that they want to vote right there at column one, right on down. And what they tell people is vote column one, just go in there, pull column one. The only way we're gonna win this thing, because of that 35 yard advantage, the 35 point advantage, is we're gonna to to educate every single person in the city of Camden. They are banking on the misinformation or the uneducation of us as a people. Because what you're really going to do is you're going to, have to go all the way over to column five to see where those candidates are, okay, for, for the mayor race. And then you pick Elton Custis there. But then you have to go all the way over to column six for the three council candidates. Again, Carmen Lozada, Carla Benson, and Hector Rojas. 
They are figuring the average person is lazy. They're figuring the average person is gonna come in there, just choose column one. We're saying, this is the time you tell all your friends, family, this is mission over me. This is a movement. We have to be so concerned about this because the same way it was with the KKK and voter suppression, so it is today. Right now, in New Jersey, we are seeing corruption, corruption, corruption. Do you know with the KKK back in 1865 when they started, that was using violence. It was using lynching for his voter suppression. You know what they're doing today? In Camden, they're using voter suppression as deception. It's a lie. It's how I can tell you, go in there, pull column one. We have to understand this. Here it is right here. Get it in your spirit. Be determined. No matter what anybody says to you, no matter who knocks on your door, you're saying, when I walk in that booth or when I vote by mail, I'm going to go all the way over to column five. I'm going to look for Elton Custis. Then I'm going to go all the way over to column six. I'm going to look for Carmen. I'm going to look for Carla. I'm going to look for Hector. And I'm voting this team in that has the needs and the concerns about the residents of Camden, New Jersey. Guys, we'll be back talking about this between now do and June 8th. Do other states do this? Do other states do it? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Do you realize that in New Jersey there are actually 21 counties? 19 out of the 21 counties, okay, have these kind of ballot positions. As a matter of fact, New Jersey is the only state, the only state in the entire union, in the entire country, that allows a political boss or a machine to come in and dominate, control, corrupt, influence the ballot positioning. We've got to do something, and we got to do it now, guys. This is time out. Let's put all personality uh, differences aside. Put uh, um, any kind of uh, mad over this person, over that person, and come together and unite to put a team in that could bring change for the residents of Camden. Person, I believe this possibly could be the last chance we ever have. We have to do it, and we have to do it now. June 8th, as Elton Custis for mayor, column five. Then go over to column six. Carmen Lozada, council. Hector Rojas, council. Carla Benson, council. It's the only way we're going to see a change here in the city of Camden. God bless you.